So, Bitcoin. Let's, uh, if you guys saw, I was gloating about this in uh, Discord earlier. But I mean, look at this, beautiful, right? It's beautiful. Go to the other chart. Is it this chart? The other one. So we correctly predicted, fairly accurately here, that we had this rising wedge. We came out of a rising wedge and we said we're experiencing more downside. And the way we would play this range is to enter a short up here in this box or look for longs down here at this key area, at this POC, right? It was a very vital level down here. Hey, what's up, one of you? And what happened? So we did, we actually came up. We touched the box, great short area, so our short would have entered. And then look at this drop. I mean, we predicted this perfectly, right? We saw exactly where it was going to be going, for the most part. We came so close to hitting our level here. So first we hit the POC, we predicted this bottom. And then we said the next bounce was going to be more at our VAL. We didn't quite get there yet, but we came very close, right? We know this is going to be a very strong level down here because we haven't been down here since November 28th, right? It's been, a, it's been a little bit. So it's been a little bit, almost a month, right? Maybe two and a half weeks, something like that. Three weeks, actually, almost four weeks, three weeks. Yeah, three and a half. So it's been a while since we've been down here. So that's why we got such a strong wick. Okay. We came back up and we made a lower high. And right now I'm, uh, Entering into a short because anytime you pump like this from a lower high like this, sorry, anytime you pump from a lower low like this, I can really think of it like two ways. I think of this like old money. Okay. You know, there's old volume sitting down here that, you know, you'll have sitting there, right? People, the, I'm sorry, the volume's just sitting there, right? <laughs> I think it's like coffee's killing me. I don't talk so good. <laughs> So there's old volume sitting down here. And when you hit that old volume, all these buy orders send the price up, right? But when this volume sitting down here and it gets filled, that's not something that's going to keep the price going up. So you need new money to come in and keep the price going up. So the way I see these, whenever they pump from lower lows like this, I see a lot of this is old money is what I call it. I call it old money. I don't know. And then the pump afterwards, like the thing that keeps it going is new money that's coming in. Sometimes there is no new money, but a lot of times you see is new money. So this old volume that was sitting down here is not sustainable, right? It's just these orders got filled and that's what sent the price up. And then there's some FOMO in here on the way up as it started to go up, right? So this is not really, whenever you see these pumps from lower lows, these are, these, you should be thinking shorts. This is not really bullish, right? Anytime you go vertical, especially from a lower low, not doesn't look good. It's not sustainable, right? So that's why I'm I'm looking more for shorts down here. Um, somewhere at a lower high. So 16.7 to 16.8 is a is a fairly good short target. And I would not go over 10x. Alright. So for the time being, here's the plan. Plan is to short at a lower high. Someone here is 16.8, 16.7. And still look for a long down here at this uh, value area low at 16.14, 16.15. Um, since we haven't been down here in a long time, there's going to be some decent volume down here in this range. You know, we're going to come down. We're going to make a higher low first. And then probably see some a little bit of upside after that. And maybe see some relief after all this downside. And then continue our journey down to Middle Earth. Down to these levels. It's 13.7, 13k, 11.3. So. It's free money as always, you know? It's free money. All you need is a good entry and then just leave it. But this has been pretty accurate. Our, um... Our, um, you know, assessments of how things are going to play out. We've been pretty good here. Pretty much for this entire range. So. 
I'll be looking more for longs down here though, right? Don't 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 uh lose track of you know all this downside here and trying to get FOMO thinking we're gonna drop to 14k, 15k. When we get down to this area down here, 16, 162, you want to be thinking thinking longs. Because this area will hold the first time we get down here. Maybe the second and the third time too. Now for Bitcoin. We did have a uh, a little J pop off here, just at the very bottom here, 16.2. Not much really. Uh oh, looks like our funding rate one um, expired. I gotta do this like every two months. <laughs> Yeah, so not much is really happening here. Um, it looks like retail. I looked at this earlier today. And it looks like retail is still eating all this up. Retail is loving every minute of this. But the whales are not really buying. The whales are a little bit smarter than that. <laughs> They're not really accumulating. Maybe they see the writing on the wall. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Most people finish early, but you made it the full distance. That's awesome. If you're looking to learn how to trade crypto, check out one of these other videos.